On the mound for your Friars is you Darvish. Oh yeah, good old number 11. The right-hander, the veteran. 36 years young, 26 start. His fourth against the Diamondbacks. He's pitched very, very well. And his 20 quality starts are the most in the National League. Opponents only hitting 211 off of you Darvish. Popped up in the infield. And Manny Machado coming from third base to the infield grass. Little stutter step at the end, but makes the catch. Round number one. Padres instantly into a shift on the right side and a fly ball into the shift. But coming in is Soto in behind Cronenworth to make the catch for out number two. Two down here in the first inning and McCarthy battling. Two two pitch swing and a miss. And Darvish goes to the cutter to strike him out. First K of the night for you, Darvish. Padres are coming up. And this is rookie left hander Tommy Henry. Three and three over his first six career starts. A D back second rounder out of the University of Michigan just three years ago. This is out to center field. Alec Thomas drifting over to right center. And there's one down in the first. They almost hit him with that 3 2 fastball. And they have. And now what are we going to do here? It looks like they're going to review this. Not sure the point would have the been ball the four. field was hit by pitch. Arizona is challenging. Ooh, foul oh, ball. Hit off the bat would be a foul ball. That would make a difference. Yeah, it looked yeah. like you may be hitting the knob. Yep. That would be a foul ball. And that would be strike three because he caught it. That's out. It's not yep. just a foul ball. He's yep. out. Yep. After review. The call in the field is overturned. It was a foul tip, and the catcher caught it. The runner, the batter is out. Arizona will retain their challenge. Now Bob Melvin out to discuss this. Now you cannot argue a review, and so so far it doesn't look like an argument. But still, you're not allowed to come out and do this. So they're giving him some leverage here, I would think. Now the 1-0 is swung on and grounded to the shortstop Perdomo. Nice soft hands. He gloves, he throws to first, and it is a 1-2-3 bottom of the first inning. Marshall hit a first pitch home run last night. I guess against a guy like Darvish who throws 15 different pitches, <laughs> uh, you don't want to get behind in the count, so maybe try to strike while the iron is hot early and they get bad. Dalton hits a fly ball to right field. Soto backing up, and that one is gone! Dalton Varsho, another home run. That's 22, and the Diamondbacks have a 1-0 lead. He has got the home run swing locked in. Dalton Varsho, that's six home runs in 12 games. Here is the left fielder today, Corbin Carroll. Corbin Carroll gets one in the gear. This is hit well to center field. A Zokar at the wall, and it's gone. There's number one for Corbin Carroll. They go back to back off Darvish, and it's 2 nothing Diamondbacks. How about that? Yowza. Boy, we've seen highlights all summer of Corbin Carroll whacking home runs all over the minor leagues. Good to see him flexing his muscles up here. Josh Bell, the DH, leads off the Padres second against Tommy Henry. That's ball four. Another walk for Josh Bell. A leadoff walk here in the second inning. Ferguson Profar batting right-handed. Profar three for eight in the series with a couple of doubles. Fly ball to right field. Back goes McCarthy to the Petco push. The ball is gone. One swing of the bat, Jerks, and Profar ties the game 2-2. Two to two. A walk and a home run, and it's tied 2-2. Two two. You get a fastball up and away, and you flirt with that porch down there. It's 322. Chances are you keep it fair, it's going to go. It's a beautiful day downtown, and Jerks and sitting on the porch. Jay Cronenworth had a big two-run home run last night. They got the scoring started. 25th pitch for Henry, and a drive to right for Cronenworth. To right field, to the crown zone. Padres take a 3-2 lead. A little spinner, a little cement mixer. Not much movement at all. All the movement off the bat of the landscaper. Oh, yeah. Admire it. Why not? 411 feet. The home run for Cronenworth. One of 3.9 off the bat. One out as here is Juan Soto. Hey. Look out. And he gets hit. Wow. That was the fastball. The 91. You know, I don't care if you throw 91 or 101. You get hurt, hit in a certain spot. It, it hurts. Remember his first at bat uh, came up and in on him too. Hit batsman with one out. Show and Carroll went back to back in the second against Derby. And for Dalton, that's now six home runs in his last dozen games. Add one more to the list. Varsho, right field. 
Goodbye. Wow, Dalton Varsho, and we're tied at three. He is some kind of hot right now. Sometimes it doesn't look like your prototypical home run swing, but he's got such a great finish. It was a mile high to right field. Hit one like that in Colorado, it might end up in the upper deck. Varsho has been on a home run tear as of late. So here's Will Myers. We'll see if Myers continues to get some playing time, I would assume so. Fly ball, deep right field off the bat of Will Myers will go. Home run number four of the year for Will Myers. Padres back on top, four to three. Good to see Will Myers getting into the act, and up and away it goes. El Gallo getting to that one. Now the injury to Juan Soto hit by a pitch in the shoulder blade. So you got to feel like that's the reason he came out of this game. Next guy to step up, that's Trent Grisham. On the ground and into right field, a base hit to start the bottom of the fifth inning for the Padres. One out, Grisham in scoring position at second. Here's Josh Bell. One-two pitch. Down the line at first into right field. That's a base hit. Here comes Grisham. No throw. Padres take a 5-3 lead. Another big hit for Josh Bell. Grisham scampers home easily. Now a two-run lead as Matt Williams points him home. Carroll to lead it off here against you, Darvish. And a liner to right field. That's going to get in. Over is a Zokar. Thinking two is Carroll. And he'll get there. A double to begin things here in the seventh inning. Now the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? No, he did not. And he finds a way on base. He didn't do what he was trying to do. And it worked out. And it's going to knock Darvish out of the game. An accelerated walk to the mound, a point to the bullpen, and the day is done for Darvish. Runners lead at first and second, one and one the count. On the ground towards second base, Cronenworth will touch second. Throws to first, double play. That's huge. Suarez able to get the pinch hitter Walker to ground into the DP. Well, sometimes, as we mentioned, the save comes in the eighth. Padres leading by two, enter Nick Martinez. One two pitches strike three Rojas knew it takes with him the first strikeout for Nick Martinez of the night two and two swing and a miss and he struck him out second strikeout of the inning for Nick Martinez and the Padres have a 5 3 lead a strikeout of Emmanuel Rivera wraps up the top of the eighth Null up to second base now with two outs and Ha Sung Kim coming up line to right field big hit for Ha Sung Kim. Around from second base comes Nola. He'll score to second base. Goes Kim with an RBI double that has the Padres on top six to three. Oh, that is so huge. Austin Nola going the opposite way. Ha Sung Kim says, I could do that as well. And Josh Hader trying to finish it off tonight for the Padres. Now the one and two. High drive to deep right center field. Back goes Azokar at the wall. Azokar makes the catch. Jose Azokar just ran a mile to reel that in in right center. One down in the ninth. Spectacular play. Josh Hader says thank you very much. One and out to Kelly. Hader deals. On the ground to shortstop. Kim will go to first. Padres win. Josh Hader picks up the save. A 6-3 victory for the Padres. They take the series from the Diamondbacks. Taking two out of three. A lot of fun the last two nights here at Petco Park. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.